hello my beautiful people you are welcome back to today's tutorial how are you all doing so now today's class we learn how to make this beautiful gown with under the stair drape so this are this are tutorial sorry we have in a part two of it yes for the sake of our beginners so this is part one on how to draft it and it's well details so guys the, the embellishment is optional okay so Let's quickly get uh, started. So, guys, what we have on our table is our pattern paper. Our fabric uh, velvet is also known as a uh, suede. Yes, so it's tape mouth is the original one for easy sewing, guys. So, when getting yours, make sure you look for the tape mouth, though it's more expensive. So, let's quickly get it. Uh, started pattern paper is um into food already so the shoulder measure we're working with is 16 inches into two parts is eight inches so the shoulder depth uh 0 0.7 inch we start to work with uh, uh one inch okay so you connect this way the arm hole depth is eight inches that the shoulder divide by two so you connect with your straight through. So for the uh, bust point is a uh, eleven inches, and that bust is a uh, fourteen point five inches, and the half length is seventy. We have to work with that eighteen inches optional, but note is um a gown. So which is the full length is 14 inches. So while cutting the down part, we'll subtract whatever we used as our half cut, which is the half bodies. Okay. So you connect with your uh, straight row. Here's our chest line. Bust point. Under bust, the waistline, or you call it your half length. So, the bust panda is nipple to nipple, we're working with 8 inches. So, into 2 is 4 inches. So, whatever we're working with, uh, here, that whatever we're drafting here, we, we won't uh, add the same allowance. We'll do that by transferring to our fabric. For a better understanding, so connect to the uh, waist uh, line, okay. So the dart we'll be working with uh, one inch. We start to work with uh, zero point five inch. Note uh, velvet that which is sweat stretches a whole lot, okay. So you connect this way. Connect now with your uh, curve root to your bust point. Bust point, okay. So, next thing now is to place our um, body measurement. Before then, we have to quickly now trace our uh, bust there. <coughs> Sorry, our armhole. To find the midpoint, which is a uh, you go in by one inch to connect to your chest line, okay, to create our arm hole. So, <coughs> so guys, I'm looking for my tape. <laughs> so, I have to clean now, place our neck uh, measurement. The neck width is three inches. So, for the neck depth, you decide to work with a bust point or you place your tape on your bust point on that bust to find your bust radius. This is just for a guide, okay? To know how deep you want your neck uh, depth. If you don't want to expose your bust. So you from the bust point, you go up with, by one inch. We start to work with 1.5 inches. So from the midpoint, you step in 0 0.5 inch. So you connect it this way to meet your bust point. So guys, uh, whatever measurement you are working with, um, 
you place it by uh, digging two four power. But note, a velvet stretches a whole lot. Okay, so you I will be adding same allowance. So, but before then, let's quickly now find our bust uh, radius, which is three point five inches. You know, it's a corset. So you connect with your curve root this way to meet your under bust this way. So now you will come to your armhole to place the bust measurement is 42 into 4 parts, which is 10.5 inches. So you place it this way. Why I will not be adding same allowance because a very stretch a whole lot. I've said that earlier. So the stretchy part is your round the uh, bust. That is your bust uh, second round. That is the part you place your stretchy part. Uh, part sorry. So you place it this. So the under bust eight point five inches. I will only add it that replacement. Okay. The waist and the, that uh, replacement you connect with your straight uh, rule. So. Now we have to clean now find also our bust uh, radius. Okay, so you place your tape on your bust point, mark out uh, 3.5 inches plus 0.5 in your uh, bust is full, though it's drip actually. So you connect to your arm hole direct, or you could work with uh, your bust point. So I've actually done a similar video, so I'll be dropping the link. So let's quickly now take a break. Uh, welcome guys so let me quickly adjust my camera <laughs> sorry properly so you can see now let me explain for those that would prefer to work with the bus point it's still the same thing guys so you would connect this way i try use free hand to your bus point this way okay or you work uh, with uh, let me click connect it properly so just to blend it properly that is all so now you can see this is optional or you place um your tape on your bust uh, point that is your bust radius which is 3.5 inches plus 0.5 inch making it four inches okay so you connect this way to your arm hole you can see it's not direct to the arm hole so this part is optional so you could work with one that is pointed to the end of arm hole or your bust point or to your uh, arm hole okay this is optional so you connect your neck uh, width to meet your neck uh, depth okay so you connect this way with your straight through so guys, as I said earlier, no seam allowance because it's velvet. It stretches a whole lot, but I will just add 0 0.5 inch while transferring to our fabric. But first, let's quickly find the midpoint of our shoulder, okay? What we have here is 5 inches. The midpoint is 2.5 uh, inches, okay? Because of the slash opening. So, you connect this way. So now we are done, you know it's draped, so you decide to also work with pleats. So this part is optional. So you mark uh, 0 0.5, notice 2.5 inches on each, so 0 0.5 eh, inch. So you come to your waist area, you mark um, out of 2 inches as well, half inch, this way, and okay, what you are doing right now, half inch. So you you connect it all straight through to meet your shoulder on each 0 0.5 inch. Okay, connect this way. So you could decide to just cut uh, the center of your uh, shoulder, which uh, we use 2.5 inches, and spread it, pin it down. But this is just for the sake of beginners. So you connect this way. Okay, 0 0.5 inch. 
so that is it so guys um let's now quickly cut it out i'll be using this to trace out the back panel okay so i won't cut directly to the front arm hole i will do that when i'm done tracing it out so here is the neck depth cut out this way so let's in quickly introduce our back panel before then note this is gown okay which i said earlier is 40 inches length okay so you fold it this way place it this way because the upper part is our half bodies to indicate your full length full length is uh, 40 inches so we we'll place our tape on our waistline to find the down part of our gown plus half of it you know it's drape so by the time you create your gather everything will suit to your full length of your gown so guys let's quickly draft uh, our back panel now so in this tutorial we are working with favorite and uh, if you are working with an um a garam fabric so remember to add your zip allowance this way we work with two inches we work 1.5 inches is optional so i'll be showing you both just in case you'll be working with them a very fabric okay so now you place your tape to find the full length which is 40 inches this is bar panel so the half uh, body is 16.5 uh, inches as i have explained earlier doing the uh, front panel so whatever you have from your waistline to your full length of your uh, gown um plus half of it okay so whatever you are working with from your waist to the full length, you add half of it. The reason is this. is drape. Okay. So you connect it this way. So from our waist line to the hip line is 8 inches. You connect this way too. To indicate the neck width. So the back neck depth is optional. Okay. So this is our hip line. This is our waist line. My ink. <laughs> Sorry guys. So I just tracing it out. So for the zip allowance, the dots line is our zip allowance. So let me connect it this way. To the hemming. Ignore my marker, please. <laughs> So, I said earlier, the uh, depth and neck for the back uh, is optional. So, you could decide to make it V. So, if you are working with the V shape, is the dot line to your zipper allowance. So, it's optional, okay? So, guys, let's quickly... Trace it out this way. We are tracing it out with the back arm all because our front half borders we didn't cut with the front arm all. So let's quickly place our hip measurement. So the hip measurement into four parts. Excuse me, my nails. One inch because it stretches a whole lot. If you are working with uh, an Ankara fabric, 
make sure you add your accurate measurement and also add the uh, same allowance so i subtracted one inch for the aiming whatever i place on my hip line i will subtract one inch so that is it you connect with your cover to the hemming okay so you cut it out there uh, this way So let's quickly cut out our neck line. So on the waist line, we have to interior inches. So because of the uh, drip, we'll be cutting our waistline that is half bodies. So we adding whatever we have here, twenty three. You want to divide by two is a eleven point five inches plus same allowance that is the hemming okay so this is our waistline so for those that are making it of zebra let me quickly explain that to avoid the bulge so you connect uh you sorry you go in from the waist line if you have been following me you should know all this by now and connect to your um Hip line to your cover this way. Okay, so by the time you fix your zipper, everything will sit properly. Okay, so you fold it in this way. You see? So, but the down part will be adding half of it. Okay, which is 10.5 inches plus same allowance. So, let's quickly move over to our front panel. So guys, you cut out this way because I'm working with this first uh, line. So I cut out this way. The two sides of piece. Cut the center piece. So we add just a uh, 0.5 inch. You decide to work direct uh, because it's uh, velvet. But if you are working with an Ankara fabric, don't forget that at 0 0.5 inch. So you cut it open this way. Uh, just for those that uh, will not make use of a shoulder uh, drip, that is the sho <coughs> that is shoulder uh, uh, pleats. So make sure you check. Let the stretchy part... Um, be your round the uh, bust uh, uh, measurement that your bust uh, uh, circumference okay so you place it this way place it properly mark uh, your uh, uh, neck depth so open it this way so this length of the that's the wideness of the drape is five inches is optional guys okay so we decide to follow the first pattern that we slash 0 0.5 inch but it's still the same method so for the neck depth add um one inch we decide to add 0 0.5 inch so from the under bust we we'll add 0 0.5 inch all round but my own case is not compulsory because it's a velvet. But if you are working with a crown print, ensure you add 0 0.5 inch all round. So you cut it this way because it's drape. So by the time you finish your plates, you know, there won't be any shortage. So this is it. Notch, notch this way to know the part I will be uh, pleating on, okay? So this is it. Cut it this way. Blend it properly. From this part, you could decide to make it curvy. Your neck uh, uh, line, make it curvy. This is optional. My, I'm going to make it curvy. But if you are making use of both shoulder drape, that is shoulder pleats, extend yours this way. Okay? Add the 
same allowance on the shoulder area so that by the time you finish your plate you won't have any shortage so this is it now you can cut out the front arm all this way okay so you want yours this way but make sure it meets with the neck width cut mine this way so let me quickly blend it properly so this is it so i've explained both now for those that will make use of a shoulder and a under bust uh, drape this is how you should place your paper if you are making use of under bust drape just under bust the way you should place your pattern paper as i have done video on that i'll be dropping the link as well so this is it you can see the difference so this is it make sure you notch your dot line mark it for plate we decide to run a gather stitch yes do it this way see how beautiful it looks already so in part two of this tutorial i will bring it to you guys how to stitch on it okay this is it it's really simple guys you could decide to also make use of a already made cup Yes, so my lining, I'll be using my um, velvet, also, which uh, also called a suede as my lining on just the front uh, uh, that panel that is half bodies of my front panel to turn the cup area so that everything will last properly. So let's quickly also cut out the center piece. You can see I added just 0 0.5 inch. I can as well do without this because it stretches a whole lot. So if you are making use of Ankara uh, 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 fabric, ensure you add 0 0.5 is like what I'm doing here, guys, to avoid shortage when you are done. So it's very really simple, guys. So cut it out this way. I also added on the waist area. So this I should look like. Cut your lining the same way see what we have let it it's very really simple guys so this is what we have for now so the part two of it is how to stitch on this okay so that is all so for the back Not to be cutting out the waist, uh, the half bodies as the waistline as well. So let me quickly send my zipper in this way because I'm not making of zipper. So this is it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have to subtract the dart we added, okay, which is two inches. Note, uh, note that uh, line on the way on the back panel because is um velvet i'm working with so trim out all this part the that allowance that we added on the front panel so for the zipper allowance you place it this way also support that two inches this way to make it a uh, uh, shapey that is just essence of this so you cut it out as well but if you're making for zipper design should look like so <coughs> excuse me that is all for now guys so please if you find it very interesting click on the like button there share the video and wait for part two of this bye